it's Lori, aka Lori Has Hope, and this is Sunday. Sorry, <laughs> I got sidetracked there for a minute. I'm just leaving my nieces. I'm going home. We had a wonderful time. Um, her son, my great nephew, which was basically, she's like my daughter, so he's like my grandson, was there. Uh, him and his girlfriend came down from Washington to visit, and I wanted to come over and see him while he was here, because we don't know if he'll make it back for Thanksgiving and Christmas or not, but we're hoping that he will. Um, but I'm worn out. I've been over there for about three and a half hours, maybe a little longer, I don't remember for sure. I got lost coming over again because Sherry gave me the wrong directions. Oh my gosh. I mean, they've lived in this house for, well, not quite a year, and I've been over here three or four times, and I get lost every time I come over here. But, you know, it's just part of life. <laughs> But I got found. All I have to do is call them and they just talk me in. But next time I know where to turn now, <laughs> so I'm good. I'm, I'm yelling. I'm sorry. Ugh, I scare myself when I do that and I wish I didn't do it. But um, yeah, it, I was wearing out and I knew it was time for me to get going. It was so good to see everybody because all, a lot of the other family showed up too to see Andrew and his girlfriend that were there. And, uh, of course, they were the guests of honor, and, you know, it was nice. It's just sad they have to go back to Washington tomorrow, so. But they'll be back soon, I hope. They didn't know for sure when they'd be back. They said they just need to, you know, make plans, schedule their jobs, and save money and all that so they can drive back down again. And, of course, we don't want them driving down when it's bad weather because they have to come over mountains and everything like that to get here so it's just better for them to to not drive in bad weather I mean as much as we'd love to have them with us we don't want them to take any chances uh -oh. your fuel is low yeah my car's telling me my fuel's low I got 42 miles left I think to uh, before I run out of gas so I'm gonna get gas tomorrow <laughs> yeah I don't care. I mean, I'm not going to run out of gas. I don't live 42 miles from Sherry, so it's okay. I'm just going to head home as quickly as I can, get comfy, take my nighttime meds, do my exercises, and go to bed. Well, I'll probably, i got to watch some YouTube. Of course, I have to watch some YouTube videos. I'll be watching YouTube videos while I exercise. I always do. I thank you all so much for keeping me entertained while I'm pedaling for two hours and 20 minutes. I pedal 140 minutes every single night. And last night, let me just tell you about last night, I pedaled for 160 minutes. So yes, that was a really good thing. And I lost 2.6 pounds from yesterday, or no, was it yesterday? Let me think from yesterday to today. Because I had gained two pounds when I went out to lunch with Sherry on Friday. And when I weighed yesterday, I had gained like, well, almost two pounds, I guess. Yeah, I, from the lunch. Yeah, it was 1.8. But anyway, today I was down 2.6. So from, never mind. <laughs> The loss today was 2.6, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm still not a Barbie doll or a featherweight or a stick or anything like that, and I don't want to be. I mean, I, you know, some people are just too th thin, and I don't think that looks healthy either. So, I mean, I'm getting smaller, and, but I'm no by no means a Barbie doll. And as I said, I don't want to be. I just want to be healthy. That's all I want to be, and I'm still working really hard to get there. Even though I had a few things I shouldn't have had today, I didn't have very much. Sherry always helps me with my food because she knows it's hard for me to stand very long to go through like the buffet line because we always do it buffet style. But she knows that I about a teaspoon of the things I like is all I want, and I only eat about eight about half of that, and, and I'm I'm full. I'm still full. And all I had had before I went over there was just my omelet for lunch. 
I didn't even have my yogurt or my V8 juice or anything. I just had the omelet. And I'm full. I'm good. I don't think I'll need anything else the rest of the day. Um, I'll, the next meal I'll have will be my breakfast, which um, I don't know what time I'll get up. I'll get up whenever I feel like <laughs> That's the whole good thing about not having to go to work. I can get up when I want, but I usually wake up around 7, between 7 and 8. And now we got to stop because I didn't make the light. And if you look over there, you can see our beautiful mountains. And I'm glad that it's still daylight. I hope that it's light enough that you can see our mountains because they're so pretty. And there's still a little tiny bit of snow up on top. And I just love that. I mean, I wish it was snowing down here. I know, I know, I say that every time. Good grief, Lori, do you ever think about anything but snow? Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> yeah, I talk to myself too, and I always get some pretty good answers. So, you know, it works out well. <laughs> um, trying to think of what else is going on. Mainly it was just a nice day with family. I always enjoy any time I spend with my niece. And of course, I love to see my great nephew and his girlfriend. And You know, it's just great to be with family. I'm just so blessed for what family I still have, you know. And yeah, I get emotional. But it's okay. It's a good emotional. I'm happy. happy with my family. There's something else that I'm not happy about, but I'll tell you all about that in a different video or maybe when I'm ready to talk about it. <clears throat> Some of you may have an idea, even though I haven't said anything to anyone except my niece. I've talked to her. I talk to her about everything. I mean, she's basically, she's my BFF and uh, she knows what's going on. But we didn't talk about it a lot over there because it was just better not to. I wanted to enjoy myself and not think of sad things. And so we didn't talk about it. So I'm, I'm starting to pray right now that, <laughs> that the Lord's going to see fit to have a park in front of my building. Because I don't have my walker. All I have is my cane. And... <clears throat> Oh, Lord willing, there'll be a park in front because walking from across the, you know, the courtyard or whatever you want to call it there at the complex would not be easy with just my cane. I'm okay from my car to the front door, you know, but not from halfway down the parking lot. So, whoops, I gotta get going. These people are thinking, oh, this is an old granny that's driving like she's going to church on Sunday, but, you know sometimes you just gotta do that. I'm going two miles over the speed limit and they're right on my butt. Yep, I said butt. I got my sunglasses on still because it was kind of bright when I left there and it's actually 8.30. <laughs> so, still heading toward the beautiful mountains. I just love those mountains. I want to get up in there sometime this summer and go up there and have a picnic. I don't know who it'll be with, but whoever I go with, it'll be special. It doesn't have to be a boyfriend. It doesn't have to be a male. It could be my cousin, or my cousin, my niece. It could be my cousin, too, as far as that goes. Yeah, these people are all not happy with me because they think I'm going along here like an old grand. I think it may be a little higher of a speed limit up here. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going 45. Are you happy now? Actually, I'm going 46. So if I get a ticket, y'all are going to have to get one with me because you're passing me. <laughs> oh yeah, I talk to the people around me all the time. And I'm sure the ones watching me as I make my videos think I'm totally crazy talking to myself. And they're only half right. I'm just half crazy. <laughs> I have fun. And as long as I'm enjoying myself, I don't care who's watching me. I used to be so shy. I, I 
always would put myself in a corner where I didn't have to be around anybody if I was, you know, in a, at a party or at a, even a family thing. I always wanted to just be off by myself or just with one other person. And, but I've learned that it, I don't like that anymore. I like being with everybody. Of course, I like being with Sherry. You know, just the two of us to visit when we can. But I like being with the rest of the family when I'm there, too. At our times, Sherry and I have our our alone time together when we go out to lunch and stuff. And we can just talk about anything and everything. And not that we talk about all all of our family. I mean, just some of them. But um, no, you didn't hear that. Um, <laughs> just kidding. No, we, we just mainly talk about stuff. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. And I was telling her a lot of stuff on Friday when this latest um, episode of my life started. And, <clears throat> excuse me, then I'll get into that more at a later date, maybe. Yeah, I probably will. There went the highway patrol. I think he was going about 80, so I guess he's not worrying about any of us. <laughs> Whoop. Sorry, didn't mean to bump you around too much. I'm trying to figure out where I am. <laughs> I never know where I'm at when I come over here. I get stirred up every day. Not really. I know where I'm at. I'm somewhere down here in... Uh, Heading back to Salt Lake, I was out in what is called West Valley City, which is a suburb of Salt Lake. Yes, she lives in the suburbs. I keep telling her she needs to move over there into the apartments where I'm at. <laughs> then we could visit more often. And I wouldn't get lost finding her house. That's just the way things go. gonna keep going down here till we get to third west. Wait a minute, no, I don't think that works. But, oh, I'm already past third west. Good grief. Lori, you need to pay attention. I'll have myself clear up to my other old apartment. <laughs> and I shouldn't have done that, but you know, whatever. I'm over here on State Street now. This is the corner of Kentucky Fried Chicken and Astro Burger, along with um, some kind of Mexican place over there. Not too many people out here right now in this area. Back there it was a little congested, but I guess maybe everybody got where they were going, and that was good, because they're not in my way now. So I'll just go up here to 17th, and then I will turn and head back over to my area of the, of the city. This up here is some of our hills more than mountains as you look ahead, if you can still see it. Um, probably should put my lights on since it's kind of like after 8.30. It's actually 8.35 as we speak, or I speak to you. Um, how I went right, flying right by my street. I mean, <laughs> I just get talking away and driving, enjoying myself, and forgot all about where I was heading. Yeah. We'll get home. I'll get home. Gotta get home pretty soon. I think the little girl's room's calling me. be able to see too much longer with my sunglasses. I do have my other glasses too, but I like the sunglasses better. <laughs> I'm just, I know, I'm kind of different, but you know, that's okay because I can. This is 21st South. We are going to, no it isn't, it's 33rd. I fibbered. Sorry. I have no idea. Oh, the temperature, or the temperature. The speed limit is 35, I'm going 42. Well, that policeman went the other way, so he didn't get to see me doing that. Here we go. 
We're locked in at 36 now. Yep, cruise control. <laughs> Easy for me to say, huh? The cruise control still works on my sweet little old car. But it won't work for anything under 30. I don't know if new cars are like that, but this one's always been that way. It would never, the cruise control would never stick on anything under 30 miles per hour. So maybe they're just set up that way. I don't know. 